pain, party, and heartbreak. Party, pain, and heartbreak. Party, pain, and heartbreak. Yeah. All right? Yep. So you you know what that reminds me of? What's that? 808? And heartbreak. And heartbreak. Yeah, for sure. But even more so, that reminds me of pain, passion, and redemption. Okay. My nigga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout out to Hallelujah. Yeah. You know Hallelujah? For sure. How you know Hallelujah? I know Hallelujah. He was uh he was brought to me by by another friend of mine in my neighborhood. It was about two thousand we always argue about this. Either it was two thousand nine or two thousand eleven. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> I always say eleven. You know what I'm saying? He always say two thousand nine. You know what I'm saying? Straight but it was somewhere in between that time. Right. He was brought to me by a friend. And like one of the one of the first nights I met him, man, he I still remember he had on no shirt. Some dicky shorts and some Prada shoes, man. He he freaked out for about two hours, man. Straight up? I, that, out of his shoes, literally. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. In my house and everything. He hit the wall and boom. Damn, I killed you, baby. Hit the wall. You know what I'm saying? Still freestyling. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah, yeah. For real. So that's the first night I knew, like, damn. Yeah. This guy here is something special. Yeah, here I'll show you from the uh, other side of the tracks. Yeah, yeah, he from, he from Backstreet, Street. Backstreet. YB. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. two one three Backstreet. Do you do you ever feel like Hallelujah is uh, underrated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you ask, I if feel like one, they probably say no. Because we we have talks about this all the time. Like Hallelujah, dope though. He's real dope. Very he's, dope. He's, he's like like the dopest. Yeah. Let him tell it for sure, and I let many so. who, who vouch for him tell it. You know, know what I'm saying? I um. I told you earlier I do album reviews and shit. Yeah. And uh, out of every out Houston album, the rap album that came out last year, yeah, Hallelujah is like I think like number four on my list. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Number four on my list. So, okay. You know what I'm saying? I think I got like I gotta look at it, but I think I got Maxo Cream at the top. Okay. Uh, this like straight just rap albums. Yeah. Hallelujah. I I gave him my my you know my rating. You know what I'm saying? He kind of commented on it. You know, he might, you know what I'm saying? I need a 5 out of 5. I gave him a 4.5. 4.5, 100. You know what I'm saying? 100. 5, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think, and that, that goes, that attributes to what we said earlier about, about Fifth War being one of them spots with the most, yeah. most talent right now. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Of course, DeBondo. For sure. Libra Jolie. Uh, YB. For sure. Yourself. Uh... Who are some other names you we could look for and expect to come out? We need your inside inside track out of out of Fifth War. Uh my little homie, Layback Matthew. Okay. My little homie, he, he's he, he's coming through. He he making his presence felt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Also my other little homie, Hustle Boy Dada. Yeah, I heard you know of him. I know he's from Fifth War. Yeah, he's from the war. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's from, he from Coke Street though. Okay, you know what I'm okay. saying? He from now that that'll be considered across the tracks. Okay, okay. Yeah, him for shit shot that ward. And my uh, my uh my other little homie who's who's in the same cap with him, go get the money. Uh little Emmett. Okay. Big Emmett, actually. Okay. Big Emmett. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Then my I got another little homie, Finesse P. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? His his people are from my neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's only sixteen though. He's like the youngest of the camp, like right. Everybody, when they hear him, we got a song right now together. I think you probably seen it at Ride for Me. Yeah, I see. A little clip I posted. I see. It. That's him. Yeah. On the hook. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah, so he's like, he definitely gonna blow. Like, but he ain't got no choice. Like, nigga, you got you 16 <laughs> right now. In this damn time? Yeah. 16? With that type of type of style. With that type of style all the time? Yeah. Nigga, you got to go. You going home, yeah, but. You gotta go. So for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just checking in with you on that. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Now back again on the pain. No party pain. Hubbard. Yes. Uh, I almost got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the twister, either man. way. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me the understanding of why exactly you call it that. Man, I call it that because party pain and heartbreak. And all my my years of living, man. This since I've been knowing myself and you know being able to fetch for myself and do things on my own, think on my own. That's what my life has been consisted of. Mm. Partying, feeling pain, and feeling a little bit, but mostly delivering that heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This is not nothing to brag about. Facts. Okay, okay. It's me more being a heartbreaker than 
me being heartbroken. You know so, what I'm saying? So you was that you was that nigga from from Fifth Ward out there in college, yeah. fucking around and, <laughs> and, and, and breaking hearts and, <laughs> and hitting them with that city game. <laughs> yeah, see, you make me snitch on myself. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this ain't no snitching, man. Just, nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. It, What's it's already done, man? It's not snitching because it's it was, already it done. Was you already been convicted. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. over with. It's, it's over. over with. And life is over with. Yeah. It's yeah. waiting on the tape to drop. You know yeah, it was more. Of, <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was more of like. Yeah, it was more of like that that vibe. Yeah. Okay. That vibe that you that you got caught by. Yeah. So it's like like you know what I'm saying like Drake said. Um, I would hate to think I tricked them. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. They fall victim to my system. I would hate to think I tricked them. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, man. It's some player talk. Yeah. It's, 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 it's more like, 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 ask the question, like, yeah. like, like, did I lie about you to who, about who I was, or did you lie to yourself about who I was? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that still doesn't give no excuse uh, of all the, the women that I, you know what I'm saying, put through that. Okay, okay. Because I felt it 10 times before it came back, for sure. All right, all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to. Bottle them emotions, you know what I'm saying, and talk about it after. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's talk about it. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, what, what would you say is the worst heartbreak situation you ever inflicted on a woman? Ooh. Wee, wee, wee. Ooh. The worst heartbreak that I inflicted on a woman. It was a couple of them, though. You gotta give me the worst one or the worst couple. It was it was a couple of them. Probably uh it was definitely probably two thousand seventeen ish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, the first time that I I discovered being caught red handed by two different women. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait how that happened. <laughs> See, hold on. See, let me explain something. For sure. Let me explain something. I got you. I got Come you. On, Come on. We good. We good. We right. good. On camera. We now, good. Now, you watch a lot of these interviews. <laughs> yeah. Say cheese, Vlad TV. Yeah. They got niggas snitching on themselves on For sure. crimes. For sure. On, on criminal this, this, activity. Yeah, this this, you, this not criminal activity. I ain't ask you about no crime. You ain't ask about I don't that. ask nobody about no you crime because I'm not that type of nigga. Because I still got shit I got to iron out. 100. You feel me? 100. So I'm not that. I'm not gonna ask no nigga about yeah, no about fit, old shit. That I can't even shit. get in trouble for. So, but I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> exactly. But I'm saying that. To, I'm saying that to say this. I'm not gonna ask you about no shit that the laws can come get you for. Well, I'm gonna ask you about some real, some live, real live shit that got shit. to do with. So going you on. shouldn't have. This is the green room. You should have no in a, in a, everything green. Yeah, I love it. We love talk it. about it because I, I just came it. in here and asked you was like, hey, when your partner sold drugs. Then I didn't ask yeah. you. Yeah. So yeah. come on, give it to me, man. I gotta give it to you. Come on. So yeah, it was the first time I that I discovered two women being caught red-handed by two different women, yeah. and it was the first time that they discovered with a dude being caught with another one. Okay. So it was the first time situation with. All of us. That shit changed me. That shit wrecked me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you was you was dealing with two different women at once. Facts. And they they connected with each other? After after the fact that I got caught, yeah. So how you got caught? Did you get caught by the, the cell phone? I got caught by not answering the phone. <laughs> okay, so you didn't answer the phone. I didn't answer the phone. Okay. I was I was in the room. Okay. With who who I was supposed to be with. Okay. Oh, you was with, supposed to be with. He was with number one or number two? I was with number one. Okay, he was with number one. I was with number one. All right, okay. I was with my number one. All right, you know number two called your phone. Number two called my phone. Yeah. So, <laughs> I didn't answer the phone. Okay. So, number two found it upon herself since she left her work. She worked for HISD. Okay. So, since she left her work laptop at my house, he felt it was, it was, uh, it was appropriate at five in the morning to come beat on my window for her work laptop. Which we know that wasn't the case. Man. Which everybody watching this know that wasn't the case. Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> know what I'm saying? But it was a it was a good reason right. to to come over. When I knew two days ago I could have damn, you left your laptop. You know what I'm saying? Get it back to you. Right. But you know what I'm saying? So yeah. So she came over and knocked on my window five in the morning. That's a hell of a time. Fool. <laughs> so you gotta get up five in the morning. Right. 
So then she know me. She been over there. So she know when that air conditioner was on, somebody's dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you was with number one. I was with number one in the bed. Okay. But number two came and knocked on that window. Yeah. So yeah. she knocked on it. Boom. So I went to the door. I seen. I opened the curtain. Damn. You said, damn. Oh, it's her. Yeah. <laughs> I hit it with, it's her. So I panicked. Not thinking that damn, I should have told my step pops to hey, tell her I'm not here. That's mm -hmm. what I should have. That's that's what I'm thinking after that, after everything that hit the fan, that's what I should have did. Too late, homeboy. Yeah. So boom. So I opened the door. Like, what's up? What you? So she hit me with the the bullshit. I left my laptop here. Okay, let me go get it. Yeah. But you stay right here though. <laughs> so so I, I even bro, I even brought the cover out the room. To act like I was sleeping on the couch, and I lied to her and told her that that was my little sister sleeping in our room, sleep, <coughs> excuse me, sleeping in my room. Right. And she's getting ready for work the next morning. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So she took it upon herself to barge in the room after I did, and number one got up, and number two barging in, and number two like, okay, that's what's going on here. And oh man. So number one, I was stunned. I <laughs> I can say nothing. So number one felt like I didn't keep up. I mean. She felt like I didn't take up for her the way I should. That shit hurt me though. To the mm -hmm. ooh, that shit had hurt me. So you lost both girls. I st I'm still friends with, with number one. Okay, but it's no she's still relationship. there for the kid. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no relationship. No, but no you had, boyfriend, you had a child girlfriend. With her. Huh? You had a child with her. Had a who? You had a child with her. <laughs> <laughs> you said you still there for the kid. That boy say. Look, she's still there. For the kid. Okay. Number one, still there for the kid. For the kid. You the kid. I got you. Yeah, yeah. No child. No children yet. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no babies yet. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. yeah That's good, sure. man. I'm for still sure. in that same. You know, I'm older than you. I ain't got no kid. I'm holding on tight. Oh, honey. Yeah, you holding on real tight. Real tight. For sure. Bro. Yeah, man. For sure. But, but yeah, man. it was. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So that happened and, you know, so forth and so forth. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. That's so. all good. It's all it's, it's good. It's good content for the tape, though. It explains the party pain and heartbreak. Party pain and heartbreak. That's part of it for sure. And I got a, I got a couple songs about it on there. Okay. One song for sure. Okay. One song was Northside Heartbreak. That was on Blood Me Season Three. But yeah, I got a song on Party Pain and Heartbreak that's dedicated to her. For sure. For sure. Then my number one. For sure. For shit show. So you you done you done with them type of things or you still you know. You know, you're yeah, I'm done with them type of things. I'm okay. done like, uh, let's say, accidentally or knowingly lean girls on. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. done with uh, not just, being truthful, not being honest, not just speaking keep it, up. Just keep it open. Not honest. telling you, look, this is what we about to do. Yeah. This is what we going to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or even stop it in the middle and be like, okay, we can't do this no more. Or we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if I only feel like that for five minutes, then... Yeah. Still need to put it out there. You feel me? Straight up. So just think about it. being true to myself. Straight up, man. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. As a man, you can get you can get lost. You know, what I'm saying, trying to you know, what I'm saying, fulfill those needs of a woman. So Facts. It's important to be honest with you, so you you can you can maintain who you are. For sure. Straight Gotta up. maintain who you are. Straight up. For sure. Okay. So when it comes to Scotty Christ, Scotty Christ, I listen to your music. Okay. And your music is definitely geared toward women. Yeah. For so sure. you know what I'm saying? Like for sure. Possibly maybe consider yourself a ladies' man. <laughs> maybe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when it comes to Scotty Christ, yeah. <laughs> looking for a woman, what does Scotty Christ look for? Uh Scotty Christ. I look for in a woman I look for like stability. Um integrity, what you stand for, morals for sure, like. Your principles, like man, what you believe in, like you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's how to carry yourself, you know what I'm saying. And really, the biggest thing, like I'm gonna go back, like integrity, like what you stand for. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. Will a nigga trade looks, a little bit of looks for more integrity? You know, you can't be busted. A nigga. Yeah, I'm saying, would you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you no. Know, that's how niggas talk, with a nigga, with a nigga, okay. you know what I'm saying? With a, would you, with a nigga, with a nigga with trade some. Trade some, a, a little, little bit of looks, looks, you know what I'm saying, for more, more integrity. For more integrity. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't, like, 
I'm not saying you'll go get somebody who's ugly. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah. For sure. So integrity is more important than looks. For sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure. If if I'm if I'm if I'm trying to deal with you, yeah. like out in public or long term, yeah. for shit show. For shit show. Yeah. And I don't I don't do I don't I ain't too much fan of the one that stand. You yeah. have to do that to me. You know what I'm saying you have to one that stand me. Yeah. Home girl, whoever you are, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But if I'm I'm looking to like deal with you, you know what I'm saying, let's build. I'm saying on business or something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? For sure. For, for sure. Because sure. my my approach these days anyway is more it's more of like direction over affection anyway. You That's know what I'm saying? You That's feel vibe. I like that. I never That's heard that before. But I yeah, like that. I got a lot of female friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And these be wondering like how. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm, I'm direction over affection for sure. For sure, man. For sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got the. The party, pain, and heartbreak coming. Yep. We got an exact date or not? You ain't give me no date. No exact date. No and exact do we date. have any like any idea of the name of any like the first single? Uh, not not to call it a single, but I just dropped a video. Okay, uh, yeah, with Quiet Money Move. Yeah, my boy okay. Quiet Money Move. Now, exactly what you? Why did you call it Death Threats? And you spell it Death like hearing death. Like hearing death, because it's like you have a, a certain type of partner who's telling you. I'm gonna kill you if you don't do this, or I'm gonna leave you if you don't do this, or like I'm deaf to that. I ain't trying to hit that. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha. I still, no matter what you tell me, no matter you know, how much pain you inflict on me, I still die for you and I still ride for you. So I'm not trying to hear none of that you talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I call it death deaths. That's love. You know what I'm saying? That's love. Yeah. How you link up with Quiet Money Move? Man, you from the south side. For sure. Yeah. Through our producer, V12. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been yeah. I've been dealing with V12 since 2015. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Met him. He he actually uh he produced a lot of shit. Well, engineered a lot of shit on uh Blair Man season two, yeah. actually. So we met him in 2015. So it was one night I was over there. He was like, let's go to uh G5, the strip club in Houston. No strip club G5? in Houston. G5. G5. AKA Prime Time over oh, there. Okay, my okay. South Main over there. I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying?